Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning self, my grown extended beautiful family. You know, it's just a beautiful blessing that, you know, our community is just growing by the day. Um, being able to support each other and being able to be an uplift towards one another is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my video for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback, the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video is being very informative to you or even gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. Court is so greatly appreciated and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and I hope that y'all can resonate with the content of my video and today my video is about twin flame one oh I mean my bad the background motivational song that I'm listening to mo motivational video I'm listening to meditation I don't know why I keep on saying motivational uh, meditation is called cell Ju rejuvenation deep state relaxation quantum uh, quantum angelic fr frequency nine hours nine hours sleeping music so i will just go ahead and post that link in the description box below and um my video is about twin flame 101 be mindful about what you stay focused you uh what you stay focused on your perspective can either be a power be your power or can be your prison and it's so true it was like after i did my last video i thought I was i was done but it was like i started um, videos from um, Trent Shelton. He, you know, he's a, I guess he's like a retired. I don't know if you want to say he's a retired football player, but he got out the uh, football, you know, situation, and he became a motivational speaker. And he was really speaking some volumes to me, and I mean, it almost had me in tears. And he was talking about that. It's like you have to be careful about what you stay focused on, and that is true. It's like you can be. It's like you have two choices. Are you going to see your situation? that you've been placed in abuse, whatever situation you're in that is toxic or low frequency or just plain negative, are you going to use that and stay focused on that all the time? You know, just putting yourself through that hamster wheel of sorrow, putting yourself through that hamster wheel of negativity because it's not bringing you no kind of, you know, no kind of growth, no way, shape, form, or fashion. And, or are you going to use that to be able to elevate yourself in many ways that's what me i'm trying to do but it's just like i find myself you know fighting with ego about certain things that have been placed in my life that you know i still think i deserve um you know answers to you know i desperately need closure you know wanting to meet my family all these different things are coming up but it's just like i had to be able to tell myself you can't don't focus on things that you know you can't number one you can't control and number two it's in the past so you can't change it you know I, I said I can't sit up here and be mad at anybody if I don't if they're no longer in my life to affect me in that kind of way so it's just you know what my situation I'm going through right now you know it's just trying to get over this hump being able to use the situation I'm going through to be my milestone to get you know get towards my blessings I don't know where my blessings gonna be because God had me you know I'll be thinking I'm going this way and God had me go straight through 60 and go the other way so it is just like I'm just playing everything by ear you know and it's just like I can when I actually sit back and look at my experiences you know it's gonna got me through a lot but sometimes it didn't kept me step stuck as well you know because it's like what I stay focused on you know I was just upset like how can you know a family do this to you this supposed to be your family you know then it's like I don't have any family that I can lean to support you know all the people that cared about me is no longer you know in the living it's like I stay in constant communication with them over on the spirit world so it's just like a lot of things that really you know really put me in a standstill by dealing with and the only person I can blame is myself you know I, I can't keep blaming them for anything because I allowed myself to keep going through that that memory wheel of pain that memory wheel of sorrow anger you know because it's like I went through a lot 
but then it's just like my higher self is like no yes you went through this yes it's very upsetting that you had to experience this but there's a lot of things that are going on behind closed doors you don't know what's going to happen because you know what's for you will be for you you know and then you know higher self is telling me you think they got away with this no <laughs> but you have to be able to let that go don't stay focused on it you, you'll know what you need to know when you need to know it because it's like a lot of times we we can go through a lot of things and it can really mess you up it can keep you in that frame of mind where you keep constantly going through that because it's like i can be talking to a, a friend of mine and we're, we're venting about different things um that we have experienced through life and you know where it it has gotten us to and um being able to deal with that you know you might catch yourself going right back you know you be fussing with ego you know like well this this happened this happened this happened you know da, 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 da. and it puts you right back it gives you that that same feeling you got when it first happened to you and i said you know what you need to stop torturing yourself like this you know yes it's a messed up situation that any person can be put you know be put in i don't wish this on my worst enemy but this is no longer happening to you i had to get closure you know, when I seen them at my daughter's graduation, the people that did something to me. And like I tell y'all, you know, when you know you can look your abusers and accusers in their face, knowing they have did everything up under the sun to you to make you want to take somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? It's just like any other person would have probably took them out a long time ago. But it's like, that's not where my mindset is. You know, I, I, I can't do eye for an eye for a thing because that make me no better than them. The things that they placed on my life you know but it's just being able to show them i'm no longer affected by the things that you do or what you are trying to do you know it is like with me being awakened see they don't know what's going on in my life because <laughs> as soon as i said that my phone lit up you know um going through this situation it allowed me to be able to look them in their face even though it's just like yeah <laughs> you know but it's just the fact is with me being in in my awakened state i tend to listen to people's thoughts and when i be around you too much and you know you you know you really headstrong on what you want to do and what you want to say and what you timid on doing their fear spoke to me and they don't realize that i know what they did you know or you know i i told them i, I remember everything you've done to me and i know why you did it but i'm okay i just have to take that sorry i never got and move on and that scared the hell out of them because it's just the fact is they know the old rosin. The old rosin would have straight slugged you. The old rosin would have peeled your scalp back and had you going all through the asphalt on your face. No. The new rosin came out and said, you know what? You have a blessed one. <laughs> and then when you can do that and then you tell somebody you know every single thing they did to you and it's something they know that, that can cost them their freedom and you stay calm that's the most scariest daggone reaction to give somebody and i always tell people when my mindset that's the most dangerous thing for me not to care about your your, your living situation i ain't not know you but i say put it this way you be held for ransom you just gonna be stuck like chuck i ain't got nothing to do with that if i think whatever meant to be what meant to be but i ain't about to get them out of this situation so they got this stuff now they don't but it's just like i can look at my situation and say you know what your time is coming you just keep working on you. you keep focused on the things that's going to bring you up don't keep focusing on what these people did to you stop pointing fingers at them because i can you know they can't do something i don't allow them to do you know i can't i already done told them you don't have my power over me i straight snatched that back you know and i told them you have a blessed one you you know i knew i was the subject of conversation all the way home because they did not know what to expect you know and for me to keep my cool that took a lot of strength you know, and I felt good because it's just like, it took me a you know, I can say something all the time when you're not in anybody's face. But when you finally got to meet up with that person, you got to keep on believing what you have already told yourself. You're healing from this. They no longer have power over you. They can't no longer put you in a certain situation because you're not allowing them to get close to you. You know, they felt like, because I'll be in cordial, oh, you want to invite me over? I'm like, I already know where this is going. You try to ask me to be around people that you know that was posted my weakness at the time but i already know game recognize game i already know what you're doing you know and i can't do that no more I, i'm done i don't I'm, i don't need y'all in my life you won't move mountains for me for you not being in my life you're not going to do that it's just like i'm on that new new do me situation and i can't stay focused on something that's going to keep me in a painful prison you shouldn't either 
you know, you have a life to live. You have so many beautiful things heading your way if that's what you can stay focused on. Because if you keep on saying it shoulda, coulda, woulda, they did this, they did that, this, you're not you putting your mind and focus on the wrong thing. You know, because trust and believe anybody who has put some damage in your life and you can just pray for them type of folks, you'd be amazed at what the universe go ahead and slap but right back to you. It's amazing how they, I mean, I see people catching karma every day. And I'm not trying to say anything about them because it's just like whatever anybody ever does to you, when they go out the way to make sure you're hurt because they get off on stuff like that. You have a, God has an amazing way of allowing them to feel what they have put out towards other people. You have to just think about that and keep doing you. Keep rising. Keep, you know, adding growth to yourself. Because it's like all those things that has been placed upon your life and you know that you got better days coming. You're healing in many different ways you never thought you could. You'll be amazed what kind of blessings come into your life once you let that go. And I had to tell myself that I'm no longer going to sit up here and talk about where well, they did this, they did that, they did this. Because pretty soon... You, you don't have to do that with people because pretty soon they'll slip up and expose themselves. So it's like you have to be very mindful of what you stay focused on. You, I mean, if that, if you're going to think about what has brought you to this forefront, what is, you know, what your spiritual awakening has done to you that messed you up in that mental way, you have to be able to use it as a positive you know, a positive weapon for you. Allow yourself to say, you know what, I'm going to heal from this stuff that's been placed upon me because this ain't me anymore you know once you went through that spiritual awakening that transformed you into whatever person that you were supposed to be not what you used to be because you can't go back to that 3d world you can try but it ain't gonna make no kind of sense to you because now you don't seen everything for what it is and if you go back to that i mean the universe ain't gonna allow you to go back to it but you have to be able to be mindful if you're gonna use your situation you got to use that to be able to heal say you can no longer let allow somebody to ever disrespect you like that again or you no longer let somebody use you like that again you're nobody's doormat you're no nobody's punching bag you're nobody's this you know anything that there's negative towards you you know you're no longer that you know if they want to talk about you what they feel about you and what they think about you is never none of your business it's how you validate yourself how you see yourself because it's like when people don't like you they'll they'll find everything up under the sun wrong with you but they can't do nothing about themselves they're not even trying to fix themselves they're too focused on you so it's just like i have that where people are just trying to make sure left and right rosalind don't get her blessings i don't stay focused on them i'm gonna stay focused on what i'm doing because, you know, if God sees that I'm not engaging into the pettiness with other people and worried about what they, you know, what they're blocking, because there's so many people that block me for mine. But the only reason why they were allowed to block it, because I stayed focused on it. And see, I said, I'm not going to do that no more. I'm just keep doing me. <laughs> I'm going to keep making my videos, keep helping people, keep rising myself, studying on things that they, you know, universe sends my way, you know, and just keep thriving. That's the only thing you can do. Because you should not let your abuse be your prison. You should not let your tragedy be your prison. Those are the things that's going to set you free. Those are the things, when you focus on that, you focus on it to the point where, in a good way, when you can focus on it in a good vision instead of, instead of a negative one, when you can allow yourself to say, you know what, yes, this did happen to me, but I'm healing. This is no longer what I am. You know, you are not what happened to you. You know, that, that you're the opposite of what, you know, I'm, I'm healing because of that. This situation did not break me, but it made me. It made you out to a bigger, better person to stay focused on positivity. Because it's just a fact is you never know. Your situation might help a lot of people on their guide to how to get out. That's the reason why I make my videos. Because I can allow myself to be that open book. Tell y'all what I went through, what I endured. There's a lot of things I didn't put out there that I placed in my book to say the things that I endured being a child it wasn't a pretty sight you know I went through a lot of stuff that you know somebody probably would have been in the nut house by now I ain't trying to say I ain't had no frequent fire miles there but you know that's not the place that the universe had me in you know you, you go through things for a reason you experience things for a reason there's always a purpose behind the painful situations that you go through but it's up to you if you can be able to see it in a you know in a positive viewpoint you know what you stay focused on what is your perception is your your perception about your life and how your future is going to be is going to be a negative one or a positive one that's your choice you know nobody can't do that but you that's your free will 
your your situation either can make you or break you but as long as you put that effort towards yourself each and every day to say i'm not that person that they try to make me to be as they try to take my freedom away they try to take my frame of mind on how seeing things they try to take my happiness away nobody can't take nothing from you unless you hand it to them when you stay focused on the people that did these things to you that allows them to be able to know they still got you they still got your your, your life in their pocket you snatch them you snatch them snatch your dreams back out of their pockets and as i said that don't let up you don't want to allow somebody to do those things to you you don't want you don't want that in your life because it's just the fact is they're going to be scared of you <laughs> whatever has been placed on you and they see that that situation don't have you in that spot that gloomy spot no more it, it's just like the universe is like they finally got it you know we've been spending too many daggone lifetimes trying to figure this out you should know it by now. <laughs> and I just tell myself that I'm slow as I don't know what. If I had to go through a thousand years, I'm making the same mistakes over and over again. And by the thousand one, I better be able to get it. You know, this is going to be our season of breaking those curses and those cycles. We can't allow this to go on for our future generation and going through the same pain that they don't pass on from generation to generation. That's when them cords get cut. So it's like whatever negative experience and trauma trauma that has been placed along your life, use that as a stepping stool to get over the heck of whatever has been placed on you. Because your blessings are a lot bigger than the things that have been placed on you. You have to be able to know that everybody's playing a role and you got your part as well. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Just keep telling yourself, you know, better days are coming. Even when it's hard to see at times, they are coming. It's just what you believe in. Because you, if you know, if you, you have to give yourself that mindset, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to see myself through. I'm going to be whatever I want to be. You know, I'm going to elevate myself and evolve myself towards something I never imagined that you truly deserve. Because you do deserve happiness. Nobody should have to be walking around still thinking about the things that happened to them about 20, 30 years ago. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Like and subscribe, you know, drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate or you feel this or is this, you know, something that you need confirmation on, you know, um, share, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell and I'll see you on my next video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible with everything you do. I'm going to give a post notification out to, uh, let me see, Princess Laura and Amazing Thailand. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.